Welcome to Gospel Time Ministries. We trust that you're being blessed by these videos that we put out. Amen. And uh, we're, we're going to fix to go into a message here. Amen. We trust uh, that it will be a blessing to you. Amen. My wife's got a song. Amen. And then we will get right into the message. chapter 7 we're going to be dwelling on escape from iniquity escape from iniquity I, I hope that you're not missing this message amen I feel like it's very important amen it's it's a uh, I'd say it's a salvation message amen it's something that we all need to hear amen from sinner to saint alike Hey man, I want to get right into the Word of God. Hey man, and uh, we're we're just thankful for the blood that was shed upon Calvary. Hey man, if you would go with me to the book of Matthew, chapter seven. Hey man, once again, we always use the King James. Amen. Glory be to God. Matthew chapter seven. Not every, and I'm in verse twenty-one. If you want to follow along with me, hey man. Uh, glory be to God, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Uh, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall inherit into the kingdom, uh, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew ye. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Hey, man, glory be to God. Now, 
I, I thought as I began to read this scripture here, uh, hey man, I thought about the word iniquity here. Uh, Hey, man, I, I thought you know that word. Uh, iniquity means gross. Uh, it's another word also for sin. Uh, hey, man, glory be to God. And I, I thought, uh, hey, man, as I begin to look at these scriptures, uh, I thought there's an escape uh, from iniquity. Uh, hey, man, we don't have to live uh, in iniquity. Uh, hey, man, I want to go, uh, if you would, go with me to the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, Glory be to God, I, I thought the Old Testament uh, is just as important uh, as the New Testament. Uh, glory be to God, but I want to go to Deuteronomy uh, uh, chapter 32. Uh, hey, man, can I tell you, if you've been saved uh, and washed in the blood of the Lamb, the promises uh, that's written in the Old Testament, uh, the promises holds true today for you uh, and for me. Amen. Glory be to God. Deuteronomy uh, uh, chapter 32. 32. Hey, man, I want to start with verse 1. We're just going to read uh, four verses here. Uh, this is the song of Moses. Uh, hey, man, not, not long before he, he uh, that God took him. Uh, hey, man, but here, uh, hey, man, in, in 32, in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, verse 1, he said, Give ear, uh, O ye heavens, uh, and I will speak uh, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Uh, my doctrine, uh, shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Behold, I will publish the name of the Lord. Come on now. Hey, man, he was saying, I'm going to spread the word of God. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. I want you to listen. Hey, man, in verse 4, Moses said this, hey man, he is the rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. Hey man, can I tell you that we serve a God that is without iniquity, we serve a God that cannot sin, we serve a God, hey man, that is the author and the finisher of our faith, hey man, glory it be to God. We're thankful uh, amen uh, that there is an escape uh, from iniquity. Well what is this escape? What is this escape? Amen. I thought within this escape amen within this escape we can find it. There's a prophecy in the Old Testament we're fixing to read this prophecy. Amen. But there's a prophecy in the Old Testament that gives us a way to escape iniquity. Amen. Glory be to God. If you would, turn with me to Isaiah 53. I'd like to tell you that the Old Testament foreshadows the New Testament. Amen. Glory be to God. In Isaiah 53, verse 1, Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we would should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as, as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Well, why did we hide our faces from him? And why did we not esteem him not? It was because of our sins. It was because of our iniquities that hid us from him. Hey, man, I thought about Adam. Hey, man, I thought there in the Garden of Eden at the fall of man. Genesis chapter 3. Hey, man, I thought. Hey, man, when Adam and Eve took the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. 
Amen. Sin separated them from God immediately. God come walking through the garden. He said, Adam, where art thou? Amen. Adam wouldn't answer him. Amen. Glory be to God. Why? Because sin separated him. Amen. From God. Amen. It's the iniquity that separates us. Oh, but I want you to listen. Amen. There's an escape from iniquity. Amen. That escape is Jesus Christ. In verse 4 it says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, a smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we are like sheep gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way. Uh, and the Lord has laid on him uh, the iniquity of us all. Uh, hey, can I tell you uh, that Jesus Christ knew no sin. Uh, he was perfect. Uh, he was perfect in every way. Uh, hey, man, but can I tell you, uh, it was our sins uh, that bruised his body. Uh, it was our sins uh, that put him on the tree. Uh, it was our sins uh, that crucified him. Uh, hey, man, no. Uh, hey, man, can I tell you, uh, Hey, man, it was not the Roman soldier uh, that pierced his hands, uh, that pierced his feet, uh, or pierced his side. Uh, but brother, it was our sins uh, that crucified him. Amen. Glory be to God. I, I, I could read on with this chapter. Hey, man, but I want you to study this chapter out. It's the prophecy, hey, man, of the coming of Jesus or the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Hey, man, but I want to go. I want to go to the book of Romans. Hey, man, the book of Romans chapter 5. Hey, man, we're thankful for the blood that Jesus shed on Calvary. For our sins. Amen. Romans chapter 5. And we're going to read this whole chapter here. It might take a little bit of time. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. We're thankful for the blood of the Lamb. We're going to get right into it. He said, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into His grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Uh, knowing that tribulation worketh patience uh, and patience experience uh, and experience hope uh, and hope maketh not ashamed uh, because the love of God is shed uh, abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost uh, which is given unto us uh, for when we were yet without sin or uh, without strength uh, in due time uh, uh, Christ died for the ungodly uh, and scarcely for a righteous man uh, will one die uh, yet peradventure for a good man uh, uh, some would even dare to but God commendeth his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us much more than being more now justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him for if we then we were enemies listen we were enemies then we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life and not only so but we also joy in God through the Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement hey man I want to read the rest of the chapter but time won't let me hey man can I tell you by the grace of the living God hey man that we are saved through Jesus Christ. And to escape iniquity is through Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to God. We're thankful. 
for the blood of the Lamb. Can I tell you, amen, that you can be saved? Can I tell you that you can be born again? Can I tell you that you can escape iniquity? Listen to me, backslider. You can escape that iniquity that you fell back into. Amen. You can escape it. Well, how do you escape it? Through repentance and by turning away from the, from the sin and putting Jesus back in your heart. Amen. Can I tell you, amen, by the graces of the living God that you can escape iniquity. Amen. And can I tell you, amen, at one time, as the scripture said, we were enemies to God. Oh, but can I tell you, Hey, man, for God so loved the world uh, that he gave his only begotten son uh, that whosoever believeth in him uh, uh, should not perish but have everlasting life. Can I tell you, amen, that you can escape iniquity. Well, where does iniquity lead you to? It leads you to hell. Hey, man, can I tell you, uh, hey, man, uh, that you can escape uh, iniquity Hey man, in the name of Jesus, can I tell you, you can escape hell. Hey man, right there in the book of Romans, hey man, chapter 6, oh, can I tell you, hey man, it says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ the Lord. Hey man, glory be to God. Oh, I thought, you know, I'm 46 years old right now at this taping. I'm 46 years old. I've been in church all my life. I mean, from the time I was four days old, I've been in church. And uh, I go to church all my life. And that'll never save my soul. Uh, I can preach. I, I preach nearly all my life. Uh, I, when I got saved, I got born again at the age of 12. Hey, man, that's when God saved me. Hey, man, can I tell you? Hey, man, he called me into the ministry at the age of 13. Hey, man, and I, I, I thought, oh, hey, it's been a joyous life. Hey, man, I'll never miss it. I'll do it over again. But I thought, if I was not born again, and if I went to church all my life without being born again, I'd still die and go to hell. You've got to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Glory be to God. We're thankful for the blood of the Lamb. Amen. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, we invite you to get to know him right now. Romans chapter 10 tells us that if we believe in our heart and confess with, confess with our mouth, thou shalt be saved. Con believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. If you feel that tugging in your heart, hey man, I would like to encourage you to accept him. Oh, come on. Amen. Uh, glory be to God. We're going to pray right now. Amen. If you feel that tugging on your heart, amen, you talk to him right now. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, uh, we, we pray for one. Uh, amen. That, uh, that, that could be praying with us right now, Lord God. Uh, that they will confess with their mouth that you are Lord. Uh, and that they'll believe in their heart. Uh, and Lord, that there will be a change uh, uh, come over them right now. Uh, in your name. Jesus, your only begotten Son, Father, that you gave, amen, for the atonement of our sins, Lord, amen, and let there be a rebirth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Listen, uh, if you've received the Lord as your Savior through this broadcast, I want you to find you a, a King James Version Bible believing church. Amen. Glory be to God that teaches the Word of God. Amen. The true Word of God. Amen. Now, at the same time, I know that there are sick out there that's afflicted, and we believe in divine healing. 
Hey, man, if you need if you need to be touched by the hand of God, listen, Christian, uh, listen. Hey, man, listen, brother, listen, sister. If you need a touch from the master, let's pray right now. Hey, man, if you need a healing, if you need a healing in your body, hey, man. In fact, I tell you what, this is what I feel led of telling you. Hey, man, if you got any kind of oil, if you got some uh, uh, oil in your house, uh, Hey, man, just anoint yourself, hey, man, with it. Hey, man, and we're going to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you through the blood of the Lamb. We pray, Lord, that you will heal right now. Lord, wherever the element may be, the sickness may be. Lord, it might be a migraine headache. Lord, it might be back problems. Lord, we we ask that you will heal right now. Lord, maybe it's cancer that they're dealing with. I ask that you will heal and remove this cancer. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, Lord. Lord, we pray that you will move. Maybe it's Lord, it's diabetes. Hey, man, that you will move upon them right now. Lord God, and uh, uh, heal them of this diabetes, Lord. Uh, Lord, there's people out there that's got knee problems, and, and Lord, they, they've got problems in their body. Uh, you said that you uh, took the stripes uh, upon your back as we read. Lord, we pray that you will heal right now. Most of all, Lord, heal us. Uh, of our iniquities. Lord, let us repent of our sins. Lord God, we thank you. We magnify your holy name. Amen and amen. God bless you, and we will see you again. <laughs>